Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. This is Gaming Assembled. In this video, we are looking at my top five characters for starting a roleplay campaign in the 867 bookmark. Finding a great character and dynasty to play is key to a great game that grabs you from the start and keeps you engaged through mid and late game. Finding these characters can be really hard though. And I constantly see people asking for ideas on forums and social media for good campaign starts. So here are my five recommendations to start you off on an excellent campaign on your next playthrough. But before we get started though, if you find this video helpful, please do consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel and commenting below. And check out my Inheritance series and Madeira campaign on CK3 if you haven't already. But for now, let's dive in. So at number five, we have the Bagratuni dynasty, where there is actually a choice of three starting characters to choose from. And which one you choose will probably depend on how hard you want your campaign to be. In the 867 bookmark, the Bagratuni dynasty control the Armenian principalities, the principality of Tau Klajeti, and the county of Kakheti. Now, historically the area had been dominated by the Abbasid Caliphate for centuries, but as 867 dawned, the fortunes of the Bagratuni were looking up, so to speak. Because while CK3 doesn't represent it, the newly crowned Byzantine Emperor, Basilius Basileus, known to history as Basil I, was actually culturally Armenian, and the Bagratuni were able to use this to their advantage. Indeed, they went on to form an independent Armenian state in the early 880s. So, bearing all this in mind, can you roleplay your way to an independent Armenian kingdom within this time frame, or even faster, with this dynasty? In number four, we have the Hafsid dynasty. Emir Shuyab ibn Umar of the Hafsid Emirate, which is modern-day Crete. Now, your father was the leader of Andalusi refugees who were expelled from Alexandria by the Abbasids before they conquered Crete from the Byzantine Empire. Now, historically, various efforts were made by the Byzantines to reclaim Crete, and various raids went in the opposite direction as well. Can you and your descendants hold back the forces of the Byzantine Empire? Can you take more Greek land and add it to your realm? Can you establish a dynasty that will rule your island kingdom for centuries to come? Number three, Count Hunfrid of Zurich of the Hunfriding dynasty. Your grandfather was Duke Hunfrid of Verona, but your family fortunes have dwindled since then. Your father and uncle held no titles at all, and you've managed to reclaim your great-grandfather's title of Zurich. Historically, the male line of the dynasty died out in 973, but can you do better? Can you reclaim your grandfather's titles? Can you expand further? In number two, we have High Chieftain Simowit of Polania of the Pias dynasty. Your father was the semi-legendary founder of the Pias dynasty, known to history as Pias the Wheelwright. He died at the age of 121, rather impressively. The Pias dynasty would later historically go on to rule Greater Poland, and future kings would claim their descent from Pias the Wheelwright. The dynasty would also later control various other titles over the centuries, with temporary control of Pomerania, Ruthenia and Bohemia being credited to their name. And the Polish royal line of the P.S. descendants died out by 1370. Can you take this further? Can you expand the realm and make the ownership of the surrounding kingdoms more permanent? Finally, number one, we have Petty King Artgal Map Dumnagwal of Strathclyde of the Altklute dynasty. You come from a proud heritage. Your family have ruled Strathclyde since the withdrawal of Rome from Britain. Your ancestors have certainly achieved much, with power waxing and waning over time. 
The power of the British descendants of the Romano British has, however, diminished a lot over the years. First, it was the Anglo Saxon peoples to move in, with their word for foreigner, Welsh, now being used to describe the people to your south. More recently, though, a new threat has emerged the Norse. They have arrived on the shores of Britain and are taking lands quickly. The kingdom of Sudria now borders your lands. Will you and your dynasty be able to hold on to your lands? Can you take the fight back to your enemies and push back the interlopers to take back the British Isles for the British people? These five choices are some of my favourites for new campaigns on the CK3 867 bookmark. Join me in my next video for my top 5 starting dynasties for the 1066 bookmark. But for now, I'd love to know what are your favourite 867 starts. Would you rank mine differently? Comment below, share your thoughts, like the video and subscribe to the channel. And for now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.